Well, hello, everybody. Happy Sunday to you and your family. I hope this message finds you all safe and healthy. And what a gorgeous day. I hope you're taking advantage of it. Thought I'd take a moment to give you an update uh, where Pure Chiropractic is at uh, and where we're going this upcoming week. Number one, we're still open. So I just wanted to inform you that we're here providing great chiropractic care to make sure that your spine's not getting on your nerves. Ba boom boom Okay. I hope that got you uh, to smile right there. Um, so we're open our regular hours this week coming up. And uh, I want to let you know that we're still taking great measures here to keep this environment safe and healthy. And so a couple things for you to know is that we've adjusted our adjusting schedule to help space out the visits of people coming in the office so there's not as many people in the office at any given time. So just uh, so you're aware of that. The next thing is, is right over my left shoulder, we have a private adjusting area. So if you prefer to be in a private room while getting adjusted coming in, uh, we can make that happen. Just let the team know uh, that that's something that you would like. Um, the next thing uh, to know is that we continue to have our cleaning crew coming in um, in the evening. And then in between uh, that, we're helping to keep the office uh, safe and healthy. We're wiping down the tables in between every one of our adjustments. You, uh, Dr. Travis and I are using an alcohol-based hand sanitizer, cleaning the hands in between every single one of our patients. And then the, um, the next thing that I want to point out is that we're still greeting you with a smile and uh, the elbow bump, but I think some of you are ready to upgrade to doing a little bit of foot tap this week. So we'll see how that goes. We've been having fun with our greetings. Uh, the next thing uh, to point out is that chiropractic's been listed as an essential business. And what does that mean? Is that um, chiropractors play a vital role in our healthcare system. And that's uh, really focusing on a non-drug approach to give our clients relief and to help their bodies staying functionally well. So you could do the things that you wanna do and avoid any unnecessary trips to the emergency room, uh, the ER, the hospitals, uh, your primary care doctor offices. Uh, number one, we just wanna avoid any unnecessary emergencies and then number two is to keep you healthy and well. The other thing is, is that that frees up the hospitals and the primary care docs to be working on, on those critical patients. Um, and then also keep you out of those environments because those environments are, are very much compromised um, there with uh, all the things going on there. So to keep you healthy. Um, the one thing that I really wanted to speak into today is just the impact that stress can have uh, on your body and the function of your body and the, the body signals or the effects that stress can cause. Now look, not all stress is bad. I hope that you're continuing to exercise uh, out there because that's one of the things that we're educating our clients on that they can be doing to keep their immune system strength up. So if the gym is closed, that's not an excuse not to exercise. So I hope that you're, you're keeping that up and then uh, helping you to stay well. So that type of stress that helps build uh, the muscles, helps build bone strength, so on and so forth. So that short-term stress while exercising is a good thing. But the long-term chronic stress, that becomes problematic for your body. And your body adapts to that by changing the physiology. So we're gonna go through that just a little bit. We've talked a lot about that modern life is unnaturally stressful. And now with all the stress, the chaos and uncertainty going on, there's more stress added to it. So more than ever, we need to make sure that we're getting your spine and nervous system checked on a regular basis, staying compliant to the recommended frequency either myself or Dr. Travis has given you, so you get the best results while being under care. Because when your nervous system is compromised, it can cause a chain reaction in the body and the way that it's working. So there's three things that can cause the stress. We talk about physical stressors, we talk about nutritional stressors, we talk about mental and emotional stressors. An example of physical stress is maybe your gym is closed and you're not exercising the way that you used to, or maybe now that you're forced to work from home and the ergonomics aren't set up so well. Those are physical stress that can cause a subluxation or misalignment, uh, is what we call that, um, on the spine and affect the nervous system in a negative way. A chemical or nutritional stress is 
you know, look, when we're stressed out, we choose foods and drinks that don't add to our overall health and well-being. Things with a lot of sugar, a lot of carbs, things like that, comfort foods, right? And you might be finding yourself eating more of those things. That's definitely a sign of stress and the impact that that's having on your life. And then mental, emotional stress, well, there's a lot of that. The schools are closed, the kids are home, the parents are working from home, we're trying to manage these new routines, there's economic uncertainty, so on and so forth out there. So all these things can cause what's known as a subluxation. And if the body and the spine have a subluxation, what it can do is it can actually cause these bones to jar out of alignment. And what will end up happening is the brain and body and body and brain are not able to communicate properly. And when there's a breakdown in that communication across the nervous system, your body doesn't work properly. What does that mean and what does that look like? So when you're under the stress response, you have cortisol is increased. You have your adrenaline is increased. Your blood pressure and heart rate goes up. Your breathing increases. Your blood sugar levels go up. And that leads to more inflammation and then downstream to increased inflammation causes things like heart disease, cancer, diabetes, Alzheimer's, things like that. That's the physiology and adaptation when we're under stress. Other things that become affected, that means that our digestive system is altered. It's not working as well as it, it normally is. And then the next thing is, is that um, you're not feeling as well, you're not as happy, you're not sleeping as well because all the negativity is causing more anxiety and stress in the body. And then the other thing is the hormones all get out of whack. And then the last thing is your immune system becomes compromised. Your immune system becomes immunocompromised and the body's not working and defending itself the way that, it, that it's designed to. And with all this stress going on, now is the best time to be thinking about our health and what we can do to help strengthen our health from within and keep our immune system functioning well. And what are those things that we can eliminate that uh, compromise our immune system? So there's a whole cascade of uh, results with uh, the subluxation, nerve interference, and stress that can cause a negative impact on the body. It can lead to increased anxiety, depression, it can affect even our coordination, our posture. It can affect our muscle tone, causing more muscle spasm. Maybe the body's feeling more stiff and tight. It can compromise our immune system, affect our blood pressure, cause numbness and tingling throughout the body. Uh, the next thing is it could be affecting our sleep. We're not sleeping as well. We're not getting as deep as sleep, which is very important for your body's function. And then it can affect circulation and then the digestive system. Now, I could probably go on about another three hours talking about this, but I think uh, you get the idea. So here's what I recommend. I recommend that you and your family come in, get your spine and nervous system checked. If you're already under, under regular care, continue to stay on your recommended frequency. And let's have a conversation in the office about what habits to break and then things to do to help strengthen your adjustments in those muscles along the spine so you're holding your adjustments better and strengthening the body and keeping the immune system functioning well. Look, we're under more stress than ever before. And now is the time to be proactive rather than reactive to help strengthen the body. And if you have a loved one, a family member, or somebody at home that has not been in to get their spine and nervous system checked, love an opportunity to do a health assessment and give complete details about the individual's health and well-being so that they know exactly everything they need to know so they can be doing everything they can do to help their health and strengthen the body from within. Thanks so much for tuning in on this update. Go enjoy the rest of the day with your family and remember to smile. There's always something great to be grateful for no matter what circumstances that we're going through. And just remember, for you and your family's health and wellness, I've got their back.